So my colleague James Perkins just made this video called delete your users table. Yes, you heard that right. I did just say colleague because I have just joined Clerk as a developer advocate. This has been in the works for three fucking months and I'm so excited for it. But for now, let's talk about this other bomb that I dropped, which is delete your users table. What does that mean? In this video, James talks about how using an auth provider like Auth0, like Stitch or like Clerk takes care of storing, scaling, and securing your users' data. However, to me, that's one of the less exciting features. The reason I first fell in love with Clerk pretty much as soon as I first saw them demo it at Jamstack Conf was not the login logout flow, not the pre-built OAuth, and also not the out-of-the-box React integration. It was a sheer amount of features that I no longer had to build and maintain on my own, or at least, try to build and maintain on my own while messing up for an entire year while finally ending up with kind of a workable solution right before the requirements change and I have to do that all over again. So let's talk about how I deleted not just the users table but potentially these eight more tables from my system that I'm very happy to never be dealing with again. Good authentication is not just about security, it's about convenience. We no longer just ask, how do we make sure the user is not being impersonated? The better question now is, how do we offer our users the best experience while making sure they're not being impersonated? This can manifest into features like multiple email addresses, multiple phone numbers, multiple multi-factor methods, multiple OAuth providers, tracking which devices the users have logged in from. As someone who uses a bunch of SaaS applications on the regular, I would be honestly very happy to have all of these features in my apps. But as a developer, I would need one additional database table for each of these features, not to mention all the business logic surrounding them. So that's already five tables that you can just delete from existence and never think about again by just using a third-party auth provider. And I haven't even included things like one-time passwords or magic links or backup codes or any sort of unique generated tokens. The second biggest feature that made me fall in love with Clerk was the multi-tenancy. So many applications that we build these days are not just for single personal use, they are for collaboration. If you're building a B2B product, multi-tenancy is pretty much a requirement from day one. But even if you're just building something for personal productivity or organizational things, something like Notion or Miro, you're still gonna have people who want to collaborate with their friends, with their family members, roommates, or something like that. Now, I've tried to build multi-tenancy in my applications for the last three years, and it's really not something I look forward to doing. At the minimum, you need a table for your organizations, then you need a table for memberships, which stores which users have joined which organizations and their roles in that organizations. You probably also want the users to be able to send invites to their organizations, which means you'll need an additional table for that. So that's at least three more database tables, and once again, all the business logic surrounding them that you need to take care of yourself if you're building multi-tenancy. I was very happy to delete all three of these tables from my projects as soon as I started using Clerk, which is also why I wanted to apply to Clerk's DevRel position. And I'm very happy that they liked my content enough to accept me for it. It's the same kind of happiness that I get when you guys take a quick second and scroll down to hit that like and subscribe buttons. Now, just to clarify, this is not a Clerk sponsored video and this YouTube channel is not going to be just a Clerk marketing page now. The only way my employment at Clerk affects this channel is by making my usual content better because now I can dedicate more time to content creation and I can buy better recording equipment. Let me know what you guys think about this and if you guys have any concerns about this channel at all. Also, let me know what you think about these third-party auth providers like Clerk and Auth0. I've personally found them to be incredibly useful and time-saving, but you guys might disagree. So feel free to express your disagreements in the comments down below, but I'll only accept it if you're subscribed.